Prophet Muhammad in the Jewish scriptures. It's mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. It says, Almighty God says, I shall raise them for prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. So the Christians, they say that this prophecy refers to no one but prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. They tell us that Moses and Jesus, peace be upon them. Both of them were prophets of God, and both of them were Jew. That's why this prophecy is talking about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If these two are the only criteria, if these two are the only criteria for the fulfillment of the prophecy that he should be a Jew and he should be a prophet of God, then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible, after Moses, peace be upon him, fulfill this prophecy. For example, Prophet Solomon, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Daniel, Hosea, all of them were prophets of God and all of them were Jew. If we analyze, we come to know that this prophecy befits no one better than the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Like unto Moses, peace be upon him. If we analyze Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them were born naturally. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not born naturally, he was born without any male intervention. And this is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number 45 to 47, and is also mentioned in the Bible. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 1, verse number 18, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 1, verse number 35, that he was born without any male intervention. He was born miraculously. Further, if we analyze Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them were married and they had children. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not married and he had no children. It's further mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. It says, that the book shall be given to him who is not learned. The book shall be given to a prophet who is not learned. We know Prophet Muhammad was unlettered. He was an ummi.